My name is Ampere Robert. Most of the people knows me as Thiago. I'm a journalist by profession and I'm the chairperson of Kiraru Youth at Kiraru Pela. And currently we are running as a group and I'm, I do my personal works. I run my businesses and also I have a vegetable farm and fruits. And I'm planning to add more to increase on my productions. Kiraru Parish or Kiraru Pela is found in Mgusab County, Kabarole District and Burasha County. The good leisure farm it came as a, just as a miracle. As you know, we were not expecting it. Most of us and I individually was not expecting this. It, it came immediately after my graduation and I was just waiting for what to do. I had nothing like doing. Then there came my friend, whom I had known during that long time of period, that period of like COVID. He, I think he was so connected with Mr. Mate. Then I was in, in, not in this area, I was in Kampala. Then he called me on my phone. We jazzed. And he, he, some, he somehow tricked me because the things that he promised me at first, they were different. But for me, for me, was waiting for an opportunity that would come. Then you told me about Good Leisure Farm, that they were going to train people to carry out the parish model program. And I said, wow, that is a good opportunity to have to take it up. Then I went at Goody, but the things they found there, they were different. But also, they, they had to, to do things because they had some goals or objectives that were encouraging me. And I was trained as a youth agripreneur marketeer and they were also relevant to my profession, being a marketer and journalism, they are somehow coordinating. And he said, wow, this is a good opportunity. And they were telling us that we are going to, we are going to be marketing agriculture products that will be made at the youth, by the youth at our pillars. And working with a group of people that sometimes it is very nice and you, you really love it as an individual. And he said, let me take this opportunity and I'm ready to work with my youth. And now we hear Kiraru Pella. It is a very good, we are really doing very nice with my members. And I'm really working hard towards the objectives of Good Leisure Farm and Dr. Goodler. What he is having for us, I have to take them up. First and foremost, at Good Leisure Farm, the things were very nice. The, the, the first day I reached there, the welcome that they gave me, it was very fantastic that I have never received it from anywhere. They gave us everything that we would not expect. In boarding schools that we were going to, we, they were expecting us to carry mattresses, to carry our cases, to carry our plates sometimes where we were going to eat from. But at good it was a different case. You we carried nothing, just like a small bag of your clothes, and you go there. They give you everything. They gave us like the uniform that we'll be using. They gave us the where to sleep, the beddings. They gave us the cups, the meals. They were fantastic. Every time we'd we'll be like receiving parties after parties, the moments that you enjoy, but you without notifying that you are either studying, but you feel like you are, you are in. Red. A different life, but it was a very good home. It was the next. It was another home from our homes. The life at Good Leisure Farm, the environment itself, you feel like everything is wow. Everything is fantastic. As I have told you earlier, I'm a journalist by profession, and marketing and marketer, they they are all for those departments. And when I saw there was production. For me, I found that they had already left with two positions. That was marketeer and a transporter. I'm not that person who likes transportation, although they like traveling, but that field, I feel it is not mine. There was marketing, and I said, this is what I should take. I'm going to develop my skills in marketing through doing this course at a different part. Yeah. That's why I had to take marketing. I had a dreams of like of having a project of uh, vegetables, for instance, like the green peppers. 
they were always, I really loved them whenever I saw someone planting them. Well, after train, being trained as a marketeer and we are mostly special operating in those gardens that we see at the farm, we really took a big part into them. I also came home, I started the projects of uh, vegetation, the, having the vegetables at home, both that we'll be using for co home consumption and for the market. The biggest achievement that I have received so far, it is not an asset like you have an asset, but have gained popularity and I have got more connections because of the different people that I moved to, sharing them with uh, the ideas that I have. And another thing it is my marketing skills now they have increased because they have a certain organization that I'm working with into the marketing field. The challenges are there. For instance, the biggest challenges is the biggest number of people they cannot understand you easily. They need more explanations and they need, if like you tell them that we train this, we train rearing of rabbits, they need to see you doing the same. If you tell them that we train rearing of chicken, they want to see you with chicken. But it is impossible for us to have all of them at hand. That is the first challenge. And another challenge we face, I as a chairperson of the Pella, sometimes to run the Pella activities. It is a very big challenge to me because I need to invest in. You cannot rely on the members that they are going to give you the money. Sometimes they say we don't have. And uh, the challenge with me, the, the Pella members that I'm working with, they are most of them they are still in schools. And, and getting money to, to invest at the Pella, it is a very big problem to them. And as a chairperson, I have to sit down and say, what am I going to do for this? It is there waiting for me. It is the, I'm the only person to face that challenge, face that challenge, and I go for it. My fellow youths in uh, this region of Toro, I call upon you to take the initiative programs that are coming up, both from the government and both from the NGOs. Uh, they are the, the projects th that are going to help us to develop or to grow. We, we have different ideologies, but we all think that after education, what next? The next, all, all, all the young people that think about it is going, getting employed in some areas. But you forget that you can also employ other people. Let us think about employing, not being employed. And to the Good Leisure Farm, I thank you very much. I can't thank you more than enough for the, everything that you are doing for us, for the people. We know that you want a, a country that is self-dependent, not being dependent to other people. And we are really working towards that, and we're going to achieve that message. The Western Region Spotlight event, we are very ready and prepared for it because it is going to enlighten our, our future and our connections. We are expecting more, and my youth are on my at Maple, they are very ready and they are welcoming the idea. No matter the challenges that they are facing, they are really, really committed to attend the function. And we expect much that is making more connections, making more friendship, that, we, that those people that, that are going to help us. And what more we expect is to, to sell our region. We need to sell our culture because that is the first thing that is, is, is calling for. And, uh, we need to perform our culture. We need to showcase our foods. We need like everything, selling our Toro culture. That is the biggest thing. After selling that, we know that everything is going to be fantastic to us. Yes, the people of Kawarole district at large, Nyangavu, Bundibujo, Kasese, Ntoroko, Chinjojo, and Kamwengi, the western, the big, the big Toro region. We are calling upon you to come on this event, the Regional Spotlight. You come and see what your children, what your youth are doing, and you learn more because we are having a lot of things to learn. Don't worry about the, the money that they are asking for. That money you are going to pay it is going to help you, the youth at your, at your area, at your region, to develop more. And those things, they will be 
in meantime to come they will come in your areas you also see them and you call them to to buy your things at your in your areas